12 laps the distance tonight for USRA Stock Car Action. Again, David Oxford and Coach Kevin Anderson on the front row. If he wins, he's got trophies for the kids. Terry Watlin with the green flag in hand, and here we go. We're live on Racing Boys. We're live racing on the river's edge at Lakeside Speedway. Crazy Dave drifts way back to the field right from the start, and the coach, Kevin Anderson, in the 417 immediately gets out front here tonight. The coach does have a feature race win so far this season. He won week number three so far. Gary Donaldson, Kevin Anderson, and Brett Heater have one feature events. The coach is your leader here at lap number one. We'll get a look at the lap times here on the race monitor, live timing and scoring. And the coach turns a lap of 21.971. He's the only car right now in the 21 second bracket as he begins to pull away and try to establish his own zip code here this evening. Richard Jamison hanging strong there in that second spot, trying to keep Jim Atkins and David Holcomb behind him. Good action there. Tim Shields now trying to come up through the field. Tim had a fast car in the heat race. Something went amiss on that car. Nice looking ride in that 42 T machine. Tim now up to the fifth spot. Good battle there with third, fourth, and fifth. David Holcomb, Tim Shields, and David Oxford trying to catch up to the rest of that field as well. Coach Kevin Anderson, your leader once again. It'll be a 12-lap event. Three laps officially scored, so nine laps to go. No challenge up front for the coach, Kevin Anderson. Richard Jamison now has begun to pull away from the rest of those cars, leaving Jim Atkinson, Jim Atkins, David Holcomb, and Tim Shields to battle things out for third, fourth, and fifth. Coach Anderson once again up front, a 21.580, another nice lap there. Everybody else in the 22 bracket, Richard Jamison with a 22.138, David Holcomb a 22.411, Jim Atkins a 23.165. So they're falling off just a little bit. Atkins now under fire there from the 42T of Tim Shields. Tim Shields with a good lap of 22.968, trying to close in on veteran driver Jim Atkins. Jim Atkins spent some time behind the wheel of a late model about a decade ago. Good to see Jim back out competing in a stock car tonight. He has his hands full trying to keep off a hard challenge here from Tim Shields in the 42T as Coach Kevin Anderson begins to distance himself. He's entering corner number one. The rest of the field coming off at two. Now halfway through this one, six down, six to go for the USRA stock cars here tonight. The coach could be well on his way to his second victory this season in the 417 machine. Now it's a three-car breakaway as a Coach Kevin Anderson will lead at lap number seven. Just behind him, about a second back, Richard Jamison in the 98, about a full straightaway length advantage. Then another half straight back to David Holcomb in the 46. Jim Atkins and Tim Shields now losing sight of that battle. In fact, Shields now pulls off the track. Tim Shields with problems once again, unable to finish this one. So tough break there for veteran driver Tim Shields as he pulls in in the 42T here at lap number eight. Eight down, four to go tonight for the USRA stock cars. Kevin Anderson, your leader. Richard Jamison second. David Holcomb sits in that third spot. Jim Atkins now fourth. David Oxford back up to the fifth spot. Those cars remain on the field. Uh-oh, we got a spinner over here in turns three and four. It's Holcomb. Holcomb spins while running by himself in the third spot. So David Holcomb brings out the caution here. Looks like we will have to go back to the last completed lap, which was lap number eight, I do believe. It'll be a ring on the river's edge. Green is out. We are back underway with the USRA stock cars. Kevin Anderson trying to get win number two on the year. Jim Atkins now takes over that second spot. Good run there by the five as Holcomb tries to rebound. Contact there between the 98 of Richard Jamison and the 46 of Holcomb as they sort out second spot. Atkins hangs on to that second spot. Kevin Anderson now already a quarter of a straightaway ahead on a restart here. It'll be the white flag. Next time Time around two more laps to go for Anderson, Jim Atkins, Holcomb, and the 98 hanging strong. Richard Jamison, David Oxford still out there in that fifth spot. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. You could throw an umbrella over them, but up front, it's the coach pulling away again, going into that zip code territory, trying to establish his own at the white flag from Terry Wantland. One more lap to go for the 417 of Kevin Anderson. 
Jim Atkins has a flurry of action behind him as the 46 of David Holcomb has caught up. These three drivers, including Richard Jamison, turning laps of 21 and 22 seconds. Now to the outside is Holcomb in the 46. Meanwhile, entering corner number three and off of corner number four, the coach is going to pick up his second win of the year. Kevin Anderson to the 417 to the line for second. Let's give that to the 46 of David Holcomb. Good rebound for him, followed by the 98 right at the line. Richard Jamison picks up third. Jim Atkins drifts back to fourth, and David Oxford picks up the win. But, excuse me, fifth place, but your winner tonight, the coach, Kevin Anderson in the 417. Kids, get ready. He's going to have trophies for you after the event. Tim Shields. Final release of the safety equipment. There he is, coach Kevin Anderson celebrates in victory lane here at Lakeside Speedway. Thank you, Ricky. Photogs in the house tonight getting our great shots. We'll see them a little bit later on social media and all points in between. We'll get some pictures and then we'll get a word with the coach here. Red line photography, Lisa Burling photography getting things done here tonight. He's got a whole gaggle here we're going to get in the picture. Victory Trophies and Plaques, one of the sponsors on this. I know probably Dion here celebrating somewhere. Big smiles here from the 417 crew. Reladine Parker Oil Company, another sponsor on this machine. Photogs are done. Coach, Kevin, if I could get a word with you up here, bud. <laughs> Congrats from the Photog. Congrats, sir. Your second win of the year. Nicely done out there. Good, strong run in the 417 here tonight. Well, I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's good to get a win, of course. I, like it. I wish there was more cars. I wish they would finish more, you know, more, more cars strong. But, um, but definitely had fun. Uh, Got to thank... Wait a minute. Let me get this right first. <laughs> last time on my last speech, I, wasn't, I didn't do Take very good. Time. So... <laughs> so uh, Medieval Chassis, Missouri Organic, um, Urban Lumber Company, uh, my family, uh, my wife Shana, my dad, my mom and dad, John and Karen, uh, Gene and Debbie, everybody that comes out and supports us every week, whether we win or second or third or whatever we come in. So, um, you know, gotta, gotta, I got to say thanks to all the people that come out to help us. And I also got to say thanks to the fans that come out and support us too. Definitely, it's the only reason that we come out here and do this is because you guys are in, your, in the stands. So definitely appreciate you being out here and watching us and supporting us. So I appreciate it. Some good money on the line next week, Coach. 1,000 to win, guaranteed 160 to start. But if we can get 24 or more cars here, we can get that up to 1,500. Everybody's got to get on their social media and share the heck out of these posts that we're going to be putting out there to get those cars here next week. Definitely a great idea, and we'll do it. Definitely. Coach Kevin Anderson, your winner tonight in the USRA Stock Cars. Chase Galvin on the front row, side by side. Here we go out of turn number four. There we go. Newton, as your leader, here comes Galvin. Eddie Swope in the 91. Look at him go in the 99 of Brad Smith. Swope, a good run down the back stretch, but Newton, your race leader. Here comes the 99 of Smith on the low side, coming out of turn number four. Look out as they come out. Your leader. Nick Newton, Brad Smith immediately goes to that low side. Chase Galvin now gets in a nose down in below him. Here comes the 57 of Tim Powell in your top five. Right now, though, it's Nick Newton and Eddie Swope at the top. Nick Newton, your leader on lap number two. Here comes the 99 of Smith up into third. Fast times here so far. Looks like Nick Newton in the 20. Point three three range, so right now Nick Newton as your leader. Tim Powell second fastest, and he moves up into third. Here comes Tim Powell. Look out for the 57. Tim Powell with a 20.19, so he is on the move. The 57 of Tim Powell as we have a car pull into the infield. That might be Galvin or Blake Pearson, the 16. But right now, here on lap number four, it's still your leader, Nick Newton. And here comes Tim Powell in the 57. Brad Smith 
In third, Schwoop in the zero of Galvin. 57 of Pow is flying on this track. Look at this 57 of Tim Pow. 19776 as he gets side by side with Newton coming out of turn two. Your new leader. Nobody close in terms of time. Tim Powell, your leader. This will be lap number five, lap number six. So Tim Powell, 1977. Oh, there goes P Money. Patrick Royalty all down the front stretch. Looks like a drive shaft back here underneath the American flag. And they come out of turn number four. Here we go. Green flag is flying for Tim Powell. And look at Powell accelerate, but here comes Brad Smith in the 99 side by side as they come out of turn number two. Brad Smith, your new challenger, but Tim Powell. Starts to pull, and here comes Brad Smith, side by side, out of four. Do we have a new leader this time across? No. Tim Powell, still your leader. Brad Smith on a good run, 19.9 on that one. 19.9 for Brad Smith. So Smith now, but Tim Powell starts to pull away. So Powell and Smith... Nick Newton, there's your halfway signal. Oh, almost getting upset there was Newton in the 3X3. Eddie Schwoop and the zero of Galvin, Tim Galvin. Jaden Bears behind them. 171 of, or 181 of Newton as your race leaders come by here on lap number nine. Lap number nine for your leader. Still Tim Powell. His best lap time of a 19.8. Last lap, a 19.8, and Brad Smith at a 20. Newton in a 20.1, so, whoa, oh, and three or four cars go around in turn number four. Tough break there at, towards the tail end of the field. And green flag flies. As they go down into turn number one, it's still Tim Powell, Brad Smith. Good run by Chase Galvin that time on that restart. Chase Galvin. Chase, Nick Newton side by side as they go into three and four. It'll be Luke Neiman just behind them. But your leader, Tim Powell, on lap number 10. So five to go, five to go for your B mods. Powell, Smith, Newton. Galvin, Tim Galvin now in the 117. Neiman goes to the high side, loses that spot. Tim Powell on a run. Look at Tim go. Tim Powell as your leader. This will be lap 12, so three to go this time across. Tim Powell. 19.7, 19.7 for Powell, 19.92 for Brad Smith, Nick Newton with a 20.4. So there's your top three drivers. And Terry Watlin gives them the indication next time across the white flag comes out. Tim Powell. As your race leader going down into turn number three and four, Tim. On a great run this year in the B-Mod class. If he can hang on here, this would be his fifth win of the season. Tim Powell, Nick Newton still hanging on to third, Brad Smith in second. White checkered flag comes out this time across. Your winner in the 50, 57 car, Tim Powell. Lansing, Kansas, it'll be Brad Smith in second, Nick Newton, Chase Galvin. So your winner again, the 57 of Tim Powell. Thanks.
All right, finishing 10th with the 47 of Tyson Lanferman. Ninth tonight, the 9 machine of Don Mars. Finishing 8th was Jaden Bears in the 20T. The 7th place car was Tim Galvin in the 117. Eddie Swope Jr. comes home 6th in the 91. Luke Neiman rebounds to 5th in the 181 machine. Chase Galvin for Grandma and Grandpa finish in 4th. Nick Newton with a good run there in the 3x3. He finishes 3rd. Brad Smith is your runner-up tonight in the 99. And Tim Powell dominates once again for another victory. We're going to send it down to Allen. He's going to get a word with Tim Powell on another USRA B-Mod victory tonight here at Lakeside Speedway. Allen. As he gets out of the car, your winner, Tim Powell! Main Street Auto. Lena Weaver Construction Pal Roofing Main Street Auto. Get a couple photos here for Tim. Get a couple words in with him. Yeah, there you go. Great run for Tim Powell tonight. Brad Smith gets a nose down. So five feature wins for Tim. Great job this year. He has that car dialed in here. We'll get a quick, quick word in here with Tim. Tim, another uh, great run tonight on that one restart. Brad Smith gets a nose down in below you. I'm sure you saw him down there. Yeah, I tried to high side down a one and two, and it, it just it wasn't working for me. And I seen Brad down there. I knew I had to get back down to the bottom as soon as I could. So it was a fast line. Just get in there, set the car, hammer down, let her go. So Yeah, quick run tonight. Really great track here tonight. Uh, is this the kind of surface you like to run? We've had all different surfaces this year. I mean, it's been slick. You know, it has it's like tonight. It's been tacky, so yeah, it's everybody likes a little bit more of a tacky track than a slick track. That's for sure. It's a lot easier on equipment and tires. So these tires here aren't even hurt. You know, you go out on a track like we had last week or the week before, and you ruin a set of tires. So yeah. yeah. All right, congratulations, winner tonight, Tim Powell. Oh, there we go. Y'all need to do the uh, kiss cam. What's that? Y'all need to do kiss cam. Modifieds about to set sail for 15 laps here, racing on the river's edge, lakeside speedway style. Here we go. Mark Chapman trying to pick up his first win of the year, as well as Kerry Davis in the 68, the 75 of Gunnar Martin grabs a third spot. They're jockeying for position down the back straightaway. The 3B of Nick Benninger gets a little bit of left side sheet metal damage. Here we see a bright piece of debris down the back straight. We'll see if it's just plastic skirting as the cars go by there. Look at Mark Chapman and Kerry Davis stepping out here tonight. Chapman has come to play here this evening. Everybody gets through. Looks like it might be some plastic skirting. I'm not quite sure. Definitely, we're going to keep clean and green here. Chapman. Leading the way, Kerry Davis in that second spot. Gunner Martin in third. Nick Benninger still having a little bit of trouble. Now look at Tim Carey coming to life, getting the feel of the Vanderbilt. The Vanderbilts have dominated about eight victories this year on the United States Modified Touring Series Tour. Tim Carrick would like to be one of those weekly racers to get a victory in a Vanderbilt chassis. Of course, Stormy Scott and Zach Vanderbeek piloting the Vanderbilts. Tim still trying to get the feel of his new Vanderbilt. Currently sets in that fifth spot. He has gained a couple spots so far. Here at lap number four, this time by lap four. 11 laps remain for Mark Chapman. Mark, the only driver in the 18-second bracket, turned a lap of 18.806. That's the fastest lap we've seen here tonight. 18.806. Nobody even close as Gunnar Martin and Kerry Davis are in the 19.016 area trying to turn laps to catch up to Mark Chapman in the 34. Carrick gets another spot. Tim Carrick gets by the 3B of Nick Benninger. That's the best battle on the speedway. And just as I say that, a good one between Stephen Bowers Jr. and Rodney Schweitzer. Just behind the race for the top five. Look out. Now Bowers and Schweitzer get together. Sam Florence narrowly escapes and the yellow flag is going to fly. 
Stephen Bowers Jr. was fighting for a spot there. Rodney Schweitzer and the two cars got together. Both of them spin around, and we are yellow here at lap number six. Lap Watling gets busy with the green flag. We are back underway at lap six, nine laps to go. Chaplin is hooked up tonight, but so was the 75 of Gunnar Martin, just as I suspected. I'm not so sure if that was a good decision by the 68. We'll see how it pans out. Oh, Gunnar slips just a little bit, but that might even help him as he gains momentum on the high side. Good close battle here. Now Tim Carrick trying to get in the mix in that Vanderbilt number 1K. The McCarthy Auto Group number 1K has to get on the binders just a little bit. Slip there, loses a little bit of ground to the 68. Now the 68 starting to rebound. He reels back in the 75 of Gunnar Martin, but Mark Chapman still out front at lap number eight. Chapman up front trying to pick up another feature win here at Lakeside Speedway. Look out, Gunnar Martin gets up into the fence nearly and Kerry Davis, oh no! Huge plume of smoke from Gunnar Martin in the 75. Now sometimes it doesn't mean a motor, but man, that was a huge plume of smoke there from the 75. He's, I don't know what's going on with the 75. So head gas, and here we go. Eight laps down, seven remain. Bittinger now trying to come back to life in the 3B. He'll battle with Tim Carrick for that fifth spot. The 1K and the 3B going out. Here comes the 68 of Davis. Gunnar Martin goes way high. Davis down low on the hub off of turn four. Chapman still leads a good side-by-side -side battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth right there. Again, a huge plume of smoke from the 75. Could be some tire rub. I'm not sure what's going on there. Possibly tire rub from the 75, but nonetheless, the 68 Retakes the second spot here, coming around to complete lap number 10. Five laps to go for Mark Chapman. The Edwardsville, Kansas driver has been dominant so far tonight. In the 34, the AMS oil machine is a hot rod. Kerry Davis now pulling away from the 75, having a look at the times here. Chapman turning a best lap of 18.6. Kerry Davis a best lap of 18.8, so he's right there still. Close competition. Stephen Bowers Jr. now comes back to life. He and Tim Carrick with a good side-by-side -side battle and give that spot to Stephen Bowers Jr. Bowers will take over a top five position here at lap number 12. Just three laps to go for Mark Chapman. Can he hang on? Went winless last year. I believe he did win a feature the year before that. But certainly looking forward to getting back to victory lane is the 34 of Edwardsville, Kansas driver Mark Chapman. Kerry Davis doing everything he can to reel him back in. Their laps are nearly identical, 18-7 to 18-8. Very close laps here. Two more laps to go for the USRA Modifieds. It'll be the white flag this time around. Terry Watlin reaches for the white flag. He'll set his sights on the 34 of Mark Chapman right there. White flag in the air. One more lap to go for Chapman. Davis, Martin, your top three. Nick Bittinger runs fourth. Stephen Bowers, Jr., fifth. Tim Carrick, sixth. Sam Florence in seventh. Gary Liston, Jr., back here in eighth. He'll finish the race. Good job to him. But off of quarter number four, as though Davis reels him in, Mark Chapman is your winner. Kerry Davis in second. Gunnar Martin will finish third, followed by Nick Bittinger, Stephen Bowers, Jr., Steve, Tim Carrick, Sam Florence, and Gary Liston, Jr. So Davis gave it everything he could, turned an 18-7 to a 19-1 by Mark Chapman there at the last lap, but ran out of time. Your winner, Mark Chapman. Mark Chapman, USRA modified winner. Race it on the river's edge at Lakeside. Speedway picks up his first win of the year, ending a winless drought. I'm sure he's glad to be back in victory lane in the ARI Amsile number 34. Mark Chapman picks up the crew in victory lane. He'll come around. We'll get the photogs busy here, and then we'll get a word with our winner tonight, Mark Chapman. Bro hugs. I love it. All right, everybody getting ready to get the photos taken. Here in Victory Lane, everybody will get in there. Smile big, everybody. Hold up that number one sign. You did it. Victory Lane for Mark Chapman tonight. Terry Wantlin making his way over here with the trophy. He'll present it.
Get a photo with the flag? <laughs> Mark says he's pretty tired. Mark, we only went 15 laps, buddy. What are you going to do when we get back to 20 and 25? <laughs> All right, looks like they got some photos. Mark, I'll have a talk with you up here, sir. <laughs> See you back here, my friend. Welcome back to Victory Lane. I know it's been a while for you. It's got to be a happy moment, sir. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, these, kind of, these are pretty hard to come by, and uh, I'll take it however I can get it. Front row start helps a lot, so... Um, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank that keep this car going and dedicate it to her dad. He built awesome motors for me, and uh, that's all I can say is that he's an amazing man. And it's uh, sad that he isn't here today, but he's looking over all of us, I'm sure. And it, uh, it's uh, Vicki Davis. Um, she helps us, and uh, I all state renovations. Uh, Jim Vlachlan. Uh, J&L Synthetics and Amsoil, uh, Ronnie Pierce up on the hill, he, he, I'm sure they're up there cheering, um, Jerry Lambert, uh, ProTech Roofing, um, Rick Hanking, and uh, man, any, everybody that helps us, um, Hondo, Hondo, everybody that uh, gets their hands on this car, it's, that's how this happens, so all these people will make it happen, so, and dad, dad, he, uh, he's pretty dedicated at this, and he gets, uh, dads are pretty cool, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're awesome, I don't know what I'd do without him. Well, Mark, congratulations, I know it's a happy moment down here at Victory Lane, a dominant performance tonight in the 34, you know what, we got to get shares going out about this track, it's been in excellent conditions, you guys got an excellent track here, everybody's got to get on the social media and tell them how good about the racing has been here, we got to get the cars back here. Yeah, definitely, um, I mean, it's kind of my home track, so I'm pretty partial to it. And, uh, I, uh, yeah, all of us racers need to step up and try to do all we can to promote it and, uh, you know, get it back where it was, and, and uh, that'd be amazing. Mark Schaap to Mr. Burlington here at Lakeside Speedway. Congratulations, Mark. Great job by all the drivers much for coming out to Lakeside Speedway, racing on the river's edge with us. Don't forget the Gary D race next week. The stock cars in the house, guaranteed 1,000 to win, 160 to start if we get 24 or more. A 1,500 to win event. On behalf of Don and Donna Mars, our general manager, Pete Howie, and the entire Lakeside Speedway staff, darling, Dana Neiman up at the top. My name is Sam. We'll see you next Friday night for the Gary D. Memorial Race. Travel safe, everyone. Don't forget, kids, head over to the 417. The coach has trophies for you. We'll see you next. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Don't forget, honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Travel safe, everybody.